Hey, welcome to my tutorial on how to use Xbox Connect. I'm going to show you how to open up your ports um, on your router so you can use your Xbox without plugging it into your computer. Um, first, obviously, you're going to have to go to um, xboxconnect.com and download the uh, download the service. It's xbconnect.com, and then you go to the left side of the page under downloads here click on that and then you go scroll down a little bit and it doesn't matter whether you use skin for high-end PC or skinless for low-end PC they it really doesn't require much more of your computer so whatever one you want it doesn't matter you download them you install the program and then you create an account and then you uh, log in usually when you log in for the first time um, it should ask you if you want to find your console but um, if it does and if you're lucky for some strange reason it finds your console it still might not work but um, for if it doesn't work the first time which it shouldn't have you go to tools you go to find you go to my console and you it doesn't matter which device if you have multiple ones it'll find it anyway you just click OK it'll look for your console it just found mine because mine's set up properly but for you it should take a long time and then it won't find it so Here's what you do. You go to your internet browser. Doesn't matter which one you use. I use Firefox. You're gonna want to go to your URL thing here and type in 192.168.1.1. Press enter. That's your router's local IP. And then it doesn't matter uh, like if you like set up your router for security purposes or whatever. It'll you have to find your own username and password but if you haven't messed with this um, for a Linksys it should be admin and admin and for a Netgear I know it's admin and the password is password um, it should be either those two for other name brands but I'm using a Linksys and that's what it is for me you'll have to find out for yourself you click OK and for Linksys you have applications of gaming Netgear it will be port forwarding down to this uh, lower side of the screen and you go to create a new one I already have it up but you just do XBC doesn't matter what name you put really and your port start is going to be 8602 and ends going to be 8602 protocol should be both TCP UDP doesn't matter just select both and your IP address is this is your local IP address if your computer is plugged into the first port on your router like mine it's going to be 101 if it's plugged into the second port it's going to be 102 and so on and you just want to click enable that and save settings and then your ports just been opened there you go you X out of that then you gotta restart Xbox connect and then you just simply like click on a game refresh the page click on uh, game uh, let's just go to here oh that one's empty let's go here it's got people in it alright now I'll show you my Xbox I'll go into the menu and show you the game will pop up. Alright, so here we are at the system link menu. Oh, my controller just connected. Alright. Just go to system link and after you double click on the game in Xbox Connect, it'll pop up here. You just simply select it and then you start joining. Uh, mics do work in uh, system link. You just load the map and start playing. So here you are playing Halo 2 online after it got taken down. This can work for uh, most original Xbox titles. And um, I hope you like this video. I hope it helped you out. Um, if it doesn't work or if you need uh, further help, send me a message or uh, post a comment on the video. Um, thanks very much and uh, good luck.